All right, Sway in the morning, Shay 45. Wow. I know. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. Sway, I'm going to start crying. Save I'm about me. to start crying. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's on our show. I was reading up about Tony Robbins. He's coached and inspired more than 50 million people from over 100 countries. More than 4 million people have attended his his live events. Oprah Winfrey calls him superhuman. That's nice. <laughs> what does that mean to be superhuman in Oprah's eyes? I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tony Robbins is here, ladies yeah! and gentlemen. Yeah! Tony Robbins is on Sway in the Morning. What does this mean, Have the B? We made it. We made it. We've arrived. We've arrived. Like yeah. radio. <laughs> I well, remember. That means I've arrived. I got to be here with you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. Um, remember um, early on, some of the first times seeing you on on um, on Oprah, in fact, and other programs, and being a kid growing up in Oakland, uh, a lot of times, a lot of the conversation I, I didn't necessarily relate to. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, Espe- of especially uh uh self help. Yes. Kind based conversation, self motivation, how to get off that couch, how to pursue your dreams, how to believe in yourself, invest in yourself. But you have a way of uh communicating that it doesn't matter who you are, where you from, um, what economic status you, you live in, uh religious beliefs, color of skin, none of that matters. It just resonates. It cuts through all of that BS. And then it, it hits you right in the heart and in the mind. And you help people like me be confident in what it is they're pursuing to do, the dreams they have, even when they're broke, even when doors have been slammed in their face. So one of the things I always say to uh, friends of mine that I work with, you are your best natural resource. Invest in that. Yeah, you're so right. You're and, so right. And I kind of kind of bit that from you. I hope you don't mind, man. I hope that ain't going to be a copyright infringement right there, Tony Robbins. I'm going to start tweeting that and put sway underneath it. Okay, all right. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. So how did it all happen? How did it all start for you, though? What, what, you know? Well, I grew up in a pretty tough environment myself. Um, you know, no money, no food at times. In fact, uh, you know, I wrote this book. In the middle of writing this book, I decided I've been... So I had Thanksgiving where there was literally no food and my family was fed by some strangers. Mm-hmm. And I never forgot the day it changed my life because yeah. it made me believe strangers care. So it made me start to care about strangers. And I swore someday I'd find a way to give back. So I want to know every answer. I hate suffering because I've experienced it. My friends have experienced it. My family did. So I wanted answers. What, what do you do to change your body? What do you do to change your mind? What do you do to change your emotions? What do you do to change your economics? And I became obsessed. I've been obsessed for 37 years. But I've also, I've tried to pay it forward. So I've fed now 42 million people. Started feeding wow. two people, then four the next year, then eight. And this year I decided I was going to, I thought, you know, I don't know if you know, but they cut food stamps. They don't call it food stamps anymore. But by 8.7 billion, we used to live on that, my family. Thought it ours. And yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? Two million people just disappear like that. Like they disappear. And I feed people every year. I feed two million people through my foundation. I do two million, I match it. And I'm really proud to be able to do that, to pay it forward. So I've fed 42 million people in my life. This year, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take this book. I'm going to write a book that changes anybody's life. I don't care where they are. Just beginning the journey. They're in trouble. They turn turned around. And I thought, you know, I'm going to donate all the profits in advance. How many people could I feed? And I found I could feed 10 million people with wow. all that I was getting. So then it got bigger. So I'm feeding 50 million people starting uh, a week from now with yeah. Feeding America. And I'm getting them to, to work with matching funds so we feed 100 million people. So I'm going to go from a guy that had no food to be able to help 100 million people. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Tony Robbins, man. Let me ask you this. If you as one individual can feed 100 million people why are there still people starving on this planet well i think there's plenty of resources man i just think the unfortunate part is people think about themselves yeah and and the worst part about that is there's nothing worse than an angry rich man or angry rich woman you know they got all the resources in the world but what they've forgotten is they expect everything i tell people you want to change your life and you have no money it doesn't matter trade expectation for appreciation yeah and your whole life changes because you know, you can have a billion dollars, and if every day you're pissed off and frustrated and angry, your life's pissed off, frustrated, and angry. That's the quality of your life. But if you have nothing, I've been there plenty of times, but you're grateful for what you have, you're rich. I mean, mm-hmm. you really do. You have more joy than they do. So I think it starts with becoming emotionally rich, and then it's coming up with a plan and, and deciding you're going to master this area of your life, not dabbling, but saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick its ass. I'm going to figure this thing out. And that's what I did. Title of the book is Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. Real quick, Tracy was talking to um, Heather B. about uh, giving to, uh, to bums on the street. 
Homeless. <laughs> homeless, excuse me, I'm sorry. Not yeah, bum yeah. sway, Tony's here. We can't <laughs> Tony, use I can't our use language. Those words with Tony? <laughs> I'm All trying right. to take care of these though. people. Okay. I can't be bums, okay. man. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Heather has a theory on that. You can't give to everybody, Tony. I'm just being honest. My, my <laughs> way, true. because... I see the same people all the time. And one yes. day I walk past a homeless guy or not sure if he's homeless, a guy who's always at Port Authority yes. and he was smoking cigarettes. And I was like, cigarettes are $12 a pack. Yes. I don't even have enough for cigarettes. How yes. am I feeding your habit? So I'm kind of selective about who I give money to. <laughs> I don't think that's wrong. I think making putting your money where you think it's going to really make a difference is smart. I have a different philosophy, but my philosophy started <laughs> early on because I met this man who mentored me and he said, look, Tony, he goes, if you go there and, and somebody asks you for some money, if you got it, he said, you got two choices. Evaluate them, and you might be wrong. You might think this person's just going to go smoke crack with us or something. But my view is if I got it, I give it. It's not for me. Let God decide that. Yeah. If, if, mm-hmm. I, if, I have that if I have the ability, then I'm going to do it. Now, uh, you know, some people are mad if you don't have more and things like that. And I just, you know, it's, that's part of life as far as I'm concerned. But I try to direct my money, obviously, mm-hmm. to people that are going to be resourceful. They're going to mm-hmm. do that and grow it, help their family, make something happen. But, you know, those daily experiences, I think they really matter. I had a guy one time, I'll never forget, I was in Boston. And it was like midnight. And this guy is wobbling back and forth across, you know, it's like the, between the street and then the, the sidewalk. And he's drunk as hell, you could tell. And I thought, this guy, I know he's going to beg me for some money. And then sure enough, he gets real close to me and also pops his head and goes, mister, he said, would you loan me a quarter? Uh He just stoned out of his mind, right? And I looked at him, I thought, do I want to reinforce this behavior? Just Mm -hmm. like you said. At the same time, I thought, I don't want him to suffer. So I thought, maybe I can teach him a lesson. So I said, is that all you want, a quarter? Uh He said, just a quarter. A quarter changed my whole life. One quarter changed my whole life. So I reached in my pocket, I pulled out my billfold, and I made sure there was hundreds on the outside. Uh I made sure he saw the hundreds, reached under it, got a quarter put my money back in my pocket. He's watching that hand. He's watching it go back in the pocket. Uh He sees the quarter. I put the quarter in his hand, and I said, life will pay whatever price you ask of it. Mm. And then he stared at me, looked back at my pocket, looked at the quarter, looked back at my pocket, looked at me and said, you're weird. (laughs) (laughs) Tony Robbins. I think I was a total failure, man. (laughs) (laughs) Not sure if that one paid off, Tony. All right, Tony Robbins is here. I want to ask you, how can the person who makes 30000 or less improve their financial situation in this day and age if you have any suggestions and if this book apply to them. You have issues 888-742-3345 question Tony Robbins. Sway in the morning, Shay 4-5, the author of the book Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. Man, an inspirational speaker, just all around great guy. Tony Robbins is here. Heather, Tony just, uh, I didn't think he would remember this, but we created this um, original series, first mobile series of its kind for Viacom. Okay. Um, with him, through MTV. Um, it was called the Hip Hop Owner's Manual. Yes. Mm. And this was back, e, I don't even remember what year that might have been. No, that might have been 08, 05. Yeah, four, five, six years ago. Okay, cool. So, and, um, and um, it was the first of its kind, and it was revolutionary. So no one else had done it to that point. We, we brought in Tony Robbins. What was the word? Ratchet. Oh, yeah, we had him break down Ratchet. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. <That's... laughs> Do you remember what you said? Yeah, I was talking about, uh, you know, it's doing it your way and not giving a damn what anybody else thinks about, right? So yeah. I was talking about you got to raise your game. You, know, uh-huh. you just can't play the way you were playing, and you got to be real, and you can't. You got to shut off the fear. Yeah. It was like Tupac's whole thing. You, know, you can't look in the rearview mirror, right? Yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know, what does he say in his last line of the song? You know, real men do what they want, bitches do what they can, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, was, I said, don't be a bitch. That's yeah, all I that, ended that, it. That, that's all you said. <laughs> That's right, Tony Robbins. <laughs> hey, man, uh, have you followed any other hip hop artists or since? Well, you over the any? years, yeah. LL Cool J's, you know, listen to my the stuff. So I bumped into him. I mean, he's he's yeah. amazing. I bumped into him just recently. And he tells, I listen to your stuff all the time when I'm working out. And yeah. So, I, you know, over the years, I've met several of them. Uh, Jay Z actually, somebody's just connecting with us. His manager was at my book party last night. So there's mm-hmm. some some really cool people. I love their music. If you go to my seminars, my seminars are all music. Yeah. Because you know, I take people for 50 hours mm-hmm. in four days. I mean, nobody will sit for a three hour movie, and I got. Like Oprah says to me, she goes, I'm I'm never, Tony, I love you, but I'm not going to sit anywhere for more than two and a half hours. And 12 hours later, she's standing in a chair going, this is one of the greatest experiences <laughs> of my life. You know? uh, Usher came and did, did the four-day program recently and just just loved it. Had a blast that he laughed his ass off and you know, and just really transformed and took things to another level. So, yeah, I mean, music is my life because without music, 
I mean, there, how do you change your state? You yeah. know, there's drugs, there's yeah. alcohol, there's food, and there's music, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? And, yeah. then, and then there's exercise, you know, lifting, mm-hmm. running, things mm-hmm. of that nature. So a music, working out, those are places that I see no downside where you can really change yourself in a heartbeat. Wow, so he named uh, Usher, uh, Jay-Z, Jay-Z uh, LL, cool LL Cool J. Oh, Oprah. shit, I dropped some good lines there. Yeah. Fast, Oprah. And you remember when Big Sean was up here, he mentioned also like doing some one-on-one time with you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So does do people really seek you out, or is it like conversation sometimes? No, they usually, um, somebody usually reaches out to me because they, who reaches out to me is somebody who's hungry. Uh-huh. So they're either they're hungry because they're the best in the world, they're always looking for the edge. Um, I, they just, I actually, through Fortune, I just got the cover of Fortune magazine and wow. I listed all these people that I work with. And most of those guys are the best in the world at what they do. Or people reach out to me because they're having a tough time, you know. People that are in the middle yeah. who are, you know, they're not really happy, but they're not really that unhappy, they rarely reach out. I, I look for people that are at the edge, like I've yeah. been, or people that are the best on earth. Because then you got the hunger. I mean, if there's one thing that separates human beings, it isn't skill, it isn't intelligence. There's lots of smart people who can't fight their way to have a paper bag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's somebody who's hungry, man. If you're hungry and you don't lose your hunger, I mean, you've got it. Anybody yeah. you know has yeah. got it, right? Yeah. I still have it. It never goes away. That hunger is the gift from God. But you can unleash it. You can awaken it in people. Uh, and mm. when it gets awakened, their life's changed. Beast. Ah, Tony Robbins is here. Go ahead, Heather. Really quick, when Sway said Tony Robbins is coming, I jumped up and down. I was like, oh my gosh, the man from Shallow How <laughs> is going to be here. Because I, I was I just remember that was my first introduction to you. I didn't know about yes. everything until uh, Tracy and people started talking about you. What do you do for fun? I'm just curious. Do you go to the movies? Make love you? to my woman. Ah, hey! I, <laughs> I knew he was a Ain't slayer. Better than that, baby. Yeah, you'd be breaking <laughs> yeah, that back. Do that. Huh? I go to movies, go to concerts, <laughs> run, work out, scuba dive. You know, I have a, I'm fortunate <laughs> enough to have a, a place in Fiji that's you know it's a resort that I own. This top resort I built for nothing, so I go there. So it's mm-hmm. kind of fun. Mm-hmm. So we do all those different things together. But time with my wife, uh, we've been married 15 years. And I could tell you, I'm I'm insane for this woman. I've, I've never been more insane. I'm more in love with her. I'm more attracted to her than I've ever been. And wow. I see people that, you know, after two or three years, they're bored with each other. And I just think, I feel bad for them, you know? Yeah. Um, so I feel really blessed in that area. But we do our part, right? You know, it's just you, you got to keep that alive. And it, yeah. it's not hard to keep alive when you got somebody that, perfect for you and I'm very blessed that way. I can just hear him chanting that. like, like he yeah. chanting motivational things while they're making love you know just keep her driven <laughs> who's keep is it mama you can do who's it you can mama? do it who's your daddy baby who's your daddy <laughs> <laughs> alright we, we got Megan wow. on the line from Boston good morning Megan say hello to Tony Robbins hi Tony how are you I'm doing great how are you Megan I'm doing well and hello to Sway Tracy and Heather good hey, morning good morning Megan so my question is um, you know, I am, I, I would say, you know, I, I work in an e-commerce company as a recruiter. I'm, you know, independent in a sense, but I'm still, you know, very low within a savings account, and I'm still kind of paycheck to paycheck. And I'm just curious as to, you know, my future with, in terms of, you know, buying a house and, um, you know, saving for a, um, as well as, you know, money fund for my, you know, children and college. Yes. So, How old are you? I'm curious. Yep. How old are you? 30. 30. So you're the perfect time. It's time to, to step in. Now, here's what I got to say to you. This will sound easy for me, hard for you, but it's the truth. There's only one thing that's going to get you wealthy and isn't making a bunch of money. I mean, how many people do you know that made a fortune and they've gone bankrupt? How many famous people we know? I mean, you can go back to the old days of like Kim Basinger used to yeah. be this hot nine, you know, just the, the hottest actress in the world. She's bankrupt. You look mm. at Tyson, he made a half a billion dollars bankrupt. Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump has gone in there. Yeah. So Mike and money is not it. You got to take a small amount of money and you got to automate it. I'll tell you, there's a gentleman that's a perfect example. This guy worked for UPS. His name's Theodore Johnson. Never made more than 14 thousand dollars a year in his life but he did one thing he understood compound interest i interviewed warren buffett for this book and i said well, what made you the richest man in the world he said well living in america good genes so i lived a long time and compound interest uh-huh. and people just don't understand what it does this guy theodore johnson said i'm going to pretend there's a tax on me i don't have any money i can't save a dime but i'm going to make it so it's automated that 20 percent of my money goes away like i just i have to find some way to survive i say i can't but i'm going to at the age of 70 He's worth $70 million. He never made more than 14 grand. 
All it did is win an account that got invested. Now, I can show you over and over again. I show you in the book how to do this. I interviewed 50 of the smartest people on the face of the earth. These are guys that started with nothing and became self-made billionaires, the very best. And I asked each one of them, if you couldn't give your money to your kids and all you could give was a plan, what would the plan be? That's Mm. what the book's filled with. So you got to just take a piece. Now, 20% sounds insane. If you even started with three and you did one other thing, these Nobel Prize guys taught me this. If you go to your boss and you go, every time I get a raise in the future, 3% 3% of it I never see. Within 10 or 12 years, you'll be saving 15%. You save 15%, you're going to have no financial problems whatsoever as long as you know where to put it. And I show you the book where to put it. And it isn't my wow. ideas. It's the best on earth. This is a place, by the way, where you don't know will hurt you. But if you do understand what to do, you can you can absolutely rip it open and you can master this game. Tony Robbins, okay. he has to go. But wow. here's, yeah, that's the bad news. But the great news is you can hear all of this if you purchase his book. Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. All this Can I tell you one more thing about this? Absolutely. All the money of this, I've, adva- I've, I've donated advanced. So we're going to feed 50 million people. So when you get this book, you don't just change your own life. You're going to feed 50 people yourself. That's it. For and that's wow. a part of giving back. Tony Robbins, man. You're a citizen of Sway in the morning, bro. Good to <laughs> see you again, man. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely.